New signings, new hope, and a return to management for Respect the Jeff. This is Chelsea Football Club, and here's where we begin our fight for glory. Hey, what's going on? Respect to Jeff here with my first career in FIFA 21. We get into action with the Pride of London, the team that I support, Chelsea Football Club. Now, I used to make a little bit of a backstory for why we're replacing the current manager, but since that is Frank Lampard at the moment, I can't even suspend my disbelief enough to think of a reason to kick him out as manager, uh, but I can assure you this will be a realistic and challenging career as always on my channel, and we are in for a lot of excitement here. Uh, now, this is still an early build of FIFA 21, so there are no mods available yet. Uh, that means we're just going to have to use a generic in-game manager face for the time being, and I'll get myself in-game uh, when the modding community finishes up handling that kind of thing. Um, I've edited the Champions League group stages to be as close as possible. The draw just happened today, so I had to replace a couple teams in there, uh, but it should be good for the most part. All right, but let's not waste any time here. What is the team looking like going into this season? Well, I set up a starting 11 that I think is probably looking best going into preseason here, and it is as follows. Christian Pulisic, Timo Werner, and Ziyech on the wing as well. Really deadly up top, and we've also got Mason Mount and Kai Havertz right behind them. I think attack is the name of the game for us. Uh, Conte just behind them, and then a back four of Chilwell, Silva, Zuma, and Azpilicueta, the captain. We have Edward Mendy between the sticks here. I had to make that transfer happen as he just signed for Chelsea in real life a handful of days ago. Here's the bench. We have Reese James and a couple other academy players, uh, Olivier Giroud and Mateo Kovacic among really good players coming off the bench as well. We have some people in the reserves here. Again, this is very early in the season. There's still a lot of room uh, left in the transfer window in real life, so some of these players might not be with Chelsea by the time you're watching this. Uh, actually, Ross Barkley just went out on loan to Aston Villa, so uh, we'll try to not play him just for the sake of realism in this first season here uh, if we can get away with that. But here's how we set the team up guys I definitely want Werner getting in behind he's so quick and so deadly on the ball if we can just feed him some balls in through I think he can get plenty of goals this season Pulisic is going to try to cut in and get in that space behind and then Ziyech wants to stay wide so we can make the best use of his crossing and long passing abilities Mason Mount will just be the default but Kai Havertz we want getting forwards getting in the box he can score goals and he can almost act like a second striker for us uh, and Golo Conte is going to stay back. I just want him back while attacking. He can uh, block some of the attacks heading in our direction uh, and get the ball back forwards. Ben Chilwell will get forwards on attack as well. Uh, as Piliqueta, a little more defensive minded of a fullback. All right, so again, this is the very first time I'm playing FIFA. I've never done any of these drills before, uh, but I don't want to make this about FIFA 21. By the time you guys are watching this video, uh, or especially if you're watching it in the future, you're going to know how the game works. So I'm not going to highlight the new features too much, but the team training gets underway and I want to see who impresses me in some of these mini drills here. Some of our defenders looking really good and a couple attackers up top too. Werner is definitely one to watch out for. He scored so many goals in some of these more attacking minded drills here. Uh, job well done by them though. Trying to get the match sharpness up just so we're ready through preseason going into this season. It's going to be really important that we hit the ground running. All right, and as I promised beforehand, guys, this is going to be a special career. Every single episode here, we're going to introduce a new career event that we have to deal with, things that either work for or against us, and just mix things up and create some storylines here. So to kick things off, an idea from Strott that I modified a little bit. Uh, we're going to have to start Hudson-Odoi in every single preseason match. The fans liked him a lot and want to see him play, so the board has told us that we have to start the young in every single preseason game. And these suggestions will be fan driven, so if you have any ideas for career events, let me know in the comments, and I'm gonna keep a running tab of the best ideas and use them in future episodes. So it's the same starting 11, a strong starting 11 that I highlighted earlier with the addition of Hudson Adoy in there. I wanna get a sense for our best players so we can have a good formation in mind going into the first game of the Premier League. All right, here we go. Our first game in charge and actually my first game playing FIFA 21. Let's see how this one goes and I'm looking forward to playing with the Blues once again. It's kind of a treat for me to play with some of these better teams because as we do the Road to Glory uh, career mode episodes that I like so much, we definitely don't get to use players of the quality that we have on teams like Chelsea. Uh, so I'm really, really looking forward to seeing what I can do with some of these attackers here. Mason Mount picking the ball up and slips through. Timo Werner, how about this for a chance already? Shaping up and in the back of the net, our striker up and running just seconds into the game, three minutes into the match, and we find ourselves in front. one nothing. it just looks so easy with the speed that he has getting in behind, and it looks like our tactics are working already. Nothing the defenders could do to keep up with that run, and we find ourselves in front just like that. 
Strasburg with a chance of their own here. Fantastic through ball catches as Pilaclerta sleeping and Zuma coming in to close down that chance before it becomes anything too dangerous. They continue with a little bit of possession here and again and Golo Kante this time getting back for the last ditch challenge again. Almost got a shot off on goal there, uh, but both of those opportunities snuffed out before they had the opportunity to pull the trigger. Now Hudson Adoy cutting inside. Mason Mount getting his head up over the top. Ziyech out wide. Chess it down. What can he do here? Back to the top of the box. Really patient play here. Nothing quite coming of it. Ziyech again blasted across the face of goal. How about that? Mason Mount sends it straight at the goalkeeper. Couldn't find the back of the net with that chance though. And Ziyech again doing a lot of playmaking from out here wide. Sneaks it in for Mason Mount who sends it straight at the goalkeeper. This time though, Mount finds the return pass. Timo Werner give and go. How about that for a goal? He can do it all. He snuck in behind for the first one and a really clever give and go there in tight space from our striker to score a second. Well, he has by far been our best player so far in this game. And I think it's probably not a stretch to say he could go on to be our player of the season if he keeps these kind of performances up. We definitely know what he's capable of. Looking for some space now. Kovacic slips through Mason Mount, and I think he is onside. He looked off for a second, one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, and he finishes it for a third. This is an outstanding start to our season here. 3-0, and it's homegrown boy Mason Mount who gets on the score sheet here. Two for Werner, one for Mount, and we have a definitive lead building here. Another chance coming in for Pulisic makes it four. This is just too easy, guys. Pulisic coming on as a power sub here late in the match, and Chilwell finding Werner, who again buries it for his hat trick 5 nothing. it's an absolute stomping out here some tricky footwork in the box though and a mistimed challenge by Christensen sets it up for the sloppy goal to give up our clean sheet in the first match in charge 5-1 the scoreline a disappointing note to end on but a definitive win and a really really good performance from Timo Werner up top absolutely fantastic Second game, more of a challenge here. We take on Borussia Dortmund away at their home stadium for preseason. Marco Royce there warming up and a lot of firepower up top between him and Holland uh, up front. We're going to see how our back line holds together in this one. Dortmund kick things off and we get our game underway. Let's see if we can stand up to this kind of challenge here. Ben Chilwell with an early chance. Turns his man and curls a brilliant ball to the back post. Havertz couldn't finish. Timo Werner on the follow-up. Outstanding strike, but he was just millimeters offsides there. The chance is continuing to roll in for us now. Ziyech sends his man flying with a really nicely worked move. Mason Mount heading down. Another chance in the box again. Havertz just couldn't finish that move off. Dortmund's turn to attack now, though. Coming up top. It is rolled through and barely dealt with by Ben Chill while we are away, but just barely. Some good chances for both teams building up here. Now hudson Adoy getting his head up, finds Mason Mount. Can he pick the pass ahead of him now? Yes, Kai Havertz running onto it, takes a touch into space. It's a good one, and he pulls the trigger in the back of the net. Chelsea 1, Borussia Dortmund 0. We find ourselves in front. Kai Havertz this time, the one to finish. Mason Mount, Joel. Ziyech tries to sneak it through a little too complicated there. I think he probably just could have taken the shot. Dortmund building a bit of an attack. Sancho through for Marco Royce. How about that? Well, that's something new in the game that you don't see every day. Brilliant skill move to blow by Zuma in our back line. I can't even be mad at that. That is an absolutely outstanding goal. I'd be really proud of myself if I scored that. Borussia Dortmund on level terms now 1-1 coming into the second half. Timo Werner sneaking in behind. Can he get a ball through? Yes, he does. Finds the feet of Azpilicueta. The captain finishes to restore our lead. 2-1 Chelsea back in front about 60 minutes into this match. Been a really entertaining one so far. Pretty evenly matched too. Definitely more goals in this game. Uh, things continue the same way here. Delaney now slipping through Sancho who takes a really good touch couldn't be stopped by Chilwell and it's in the back of the net again 2-2 and Dortmund level things up well plenty of chances on both ends and a lot of quality up top uh, for Borussia Dortmund it's been hard for us to keep them contained Warner now on his preferred foot cutting inside it's Ziyech who tries to place it into the far corner that is a really poor effort in the end well worked move and the game does end level it's a good test for our squad against good opposition Probably a deserved result, so we keep our heads up high, and we move on with preseason. All right, next game, I gave a chance to this simulated match feature. Again, I don't want to talk too much about the new stuff in FIFA 21, because I'm sure you all will be sick of it by the time you're watching this video. Uh, but the chance coming in early here for Werner, who is picked out really, really well by Mason Mount. I think that was. We get ourselves in front of Benfica here. But almost right after, just before halftime, they equalize off of a corner. 1-1, we go into the second half here. 
So with victory on the line, I do jump into the match with about 15 minutes remaining to see if we can turn the tide here and make something happen. While I maybe had higher expectations than I could deliver on, it was actually Benfica who took the lead again. Poor marking by our back line. No one there to cover him. Wide open in the box and in the back of the net. The only chance remaining in the game. 2-1, we actually end up losing that. I made things worse by trying to jump into the game. And with that, on to the next one. All right, well, next game, it's the quarterfinals of preseason against Sevilla. Uh, none of these games matter too much, obviously, but as I get a feel for the game and for this career, I want to see which players stand out. Uh, so I am just going to show some of the quick highlights from all of these preseason games. Timo Werner, again, he scored in every match so far. Unbelievable talent we have, but Sevilla get themselves back in front and then do one better. Oliver Torres grabbing two goals in the span of a handful of minutes, so things not looking good for us. Again, about 15 minutes remaining, so I do the deed once again, jumping into the game to see if we can turn the tide here. Mason Mount trying to pick out a pass, flicks it through. Timo Werner, top of the box, couldn't get a shot off, and unfortunately, that was the only chance we could muster in the remaining 15 minutes. So we're taken down by Sevilla, preseason ended, and now all eyes are on the start of the Premier League season. All right, well, we definitely have a lot of takeaways there from preseason to think about um, some training sessions in between now and the opening game of the season, which will be against Brighton on the 8th. We have a few weeks before then. Uh, let's see if we can find anyone who impress us in the meantime. Trying to get our match sharpness up so we're ready for that match. Some really good play here from our strikers in the training sessions. Um, and actually, one who stuck out a lot to me was Hudson Adoy, who got a lot of minutes in preseason and was finishing chance after chance. Uh, in the meantime, also, I'm giving some customized plans to Tiago. Silva, our best center back, but he is getting up there with age. So we need to be very careful about how we handle him. I'm actually going to train him as a defensive center back because uh, it seems like it'll keep his sprint speed as well as some of his defending stats up. Hopefully that'll keep him from uh, decreasing in overall too much. So like I said, our first game is against Brighton and I don't want to waste any more time. Let's get straight to it. Same starting 11 as usual. Pulisic back in the lineup though. He did look good in preseason. hudson Adoy coming off the bench. And with that said, let's get to the game. All right, well, here we go. Our first Premier League match back in charge of Chelsea FC, and it was a tough one. Thiago Silva putting in some tough challenges in midfield here, but Brighton were not letting us off easy and not making it easy at all to find space. Pulisic with a chance to beat his man one-on-one. -on -one. Really good defending there from the Brighton uh, right back. Timo Werner getting forwards again. Ball given away here. We just can't get anything going offensively. Brighton not messing around here, and a ball played through. Zuma steps up, and Mape is on sides, and he chips Edward Mendy, what a goal that is. Well, credit where credit is due for a good finish from the Brighton striker, but that is very poor from us defensively. Uh, and just like Chelsea in real life this season, it might seem like we have a defensive issue uh, through preseason into this match already. Uh, definitely something to watch out for here, but we got to get ourselves at least back a level here if we want a shot at going on to win the game. Mason Mount finding some space in the box, continuing to make a run, and he puts a shot low, forcing the Brighton goalkeeper into a save here. But Brighton continuing to push forwards. Thiago Silva, fantastic challenge. Well, what he lacks in pace, he makes up for with outstanding technical ability here. Timo Werner slipping through Ziyech. Oh, trying to lay it up to the front post here. Azpilicueta putting in another cross back post. Mason Mount, point blank save by the defender. How has that not found the back of the net? We've had a couple good opportunities here, but nothing to capitalize on just yet. Coming into the second half here, Azpilicueta, top of the box. Ziyech looking for a shot, but he instead goes for the pass. It's a clever one through for Mason Mount, but he's pushed off of it just before he can get anything going. Ben Chilwell, Pulisic, Brighton defending really deep here, and again trying to slip through a pass. A lot of creative play here, but just lacking that final ball. Uh, maybe a little bit of understanding, uh, needing time to develop here from our players. Tammy Abraham now in the box, and that's a poor finish. Doesn't challenge the goalkeeper too much. The substitute striker coming on here. We need a goal, guys, and Timo Werner, the one to do it. 15 minutes remaining in the match, and plenty of time for us to get ourselves in front here. If we can continue to pressure like this, we're playing really well, and Brighton definitely sitting back as we gain a little bit of momentum in the match. Tammy Abraham pulling strings. How about that for a pass? It was so close to finding the feet of Ziyech running into space. Tammy Abraham seeing a lot of the ball here. Christian Pulisic now on the wing. Cutting inside, then back outside, fires one across the face of goal, and again, a Brighton center back barely gets a foot to that one. We just can't sneak through that final pass again. Pulisic with a chance to make an impression here, laying it back, Chilwell trying to cut back on his preferred left foot, and again, the chance goes missing. Cleared away again by Brighton, we're quickly trying to win the ball back here, Silva plays it through, 
Oh, Abraham looking for the give and go. Not enough time though, and that is a disappointing opening result for us. I actually thought we played well aside from that one slip up that did lead to the Brighton chance early in the game, but it ends 1-1. It just wasn't good enough for us in front of goal, and we got to do better, especially defensively if we want to do well in the Premier League this season. We can't be letting through chances like that. But we're only one game into the season, no reason to get down yet, plenty of games left to play, and I think we're in good shape. Alright, well, like I said earlier, a little bit of a disappointing result for us there in our opening match of the season. Uh, Mateo Kovacic, not happy to not be involved in that one, but I really do think Mount uh, and Havertz alongside him are our best options at center mid. If things continue to not go well, we will try to shake it up. Uh, and unfortunately, a training injury here. Uh, Saar, our young center back, will be out for four months. Uh, definitely a shame for him in terms of growth, but he wasn't in my immediate plans, so nothing to be concerned about too much in terms of results in the immediate term here. Next up, it's Crystal Palace, but that will come next episode guys thank you so much for watching i'm really looking forward to this career uh, and hopefully we're going to do better than the first premier league game we played here in this episode i'm sure we will we saw a lot of promise there in preseason and we know what this squad is capable of so keep your eye out for the next episode coming very soon and i'm going to be on a regular schedule now going forwards with this chelsea career and i'm going to add one or two more uh, as we get a little bit further into fifa 21 thank you so much for the support guys as always if you've been enjoying this series please consider subscribing to the channel it helps me out a lot and I will continue to roll out new videos. But until then, I'm Respect the Jeff, and I'll see you next time.